Core values, are they for you or are they just for big companies? Today, we're gonna to talk about core values and why they should be the basis and the foundation for your business, regardless of the size. What's up guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sam Marvin and I've been in the photography industry for 25 plus years. Though I love being a creative, business is my passion and elevating the industry of photography is my focus. I created the Seven Figure Photographer with the intention of sharing my journey to seven figures and to help any of you who are wanting to do the same. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Really appreciate it. Make sure to comment below uh, if you, anything you have that you wanna share with us about your core values. If you wanna list your six or five or whatever, however many core values below, we'd love to see it in the comments and we'll definitely comment back. But let's get started. Let's get down to business. So today I wanted to talk to you about core values. And you know, I remember <clears throat> a lot of years in my business where I just didn't, feel a whole lot of direction. I didn't have a whole lot of, of specific knowledge and drive about the direction I wanted to take my business. I just knew where I wanted to be and um, knew that I wanted to get there, but I didn't know how to get there. And core values came across to me a number of years ago and it just really made sense. And I think that it's something that you don't have to be a big corporation to run your business uh, with core values in mind. I think that honestly, any business, just like um, I, I remember as a small business when, well, I'm still a small business, but from day one, uh, when I started looking for people to just help money wise with my business, because I thought that I had an investment that somebody uh, should want to be a part of, which I'm sure most of you guys have felt that or, or at some point in time. But I remember the first thing I was ever told is you have to have a business plan. And I was like, well, I don't know how to make a business plan and how am I supposed to know what I'm doing in business if I'm just getting started and all these things. They're all important things and they're important steps. And I think that every small business should have their core values outlined. A couple of weeks ago, uh, we had a planning meeting down in Park City for Seven Figure Photographer. Uh, we went down, Mia and Yin and I, and we hung out, just uh, had an Airbnb, and we hung out for uh, three days, and all we did was plan. We made outlines and planned everything for the Seven Figure Photographer, and together we decided what are the core values as this business? What are the core values that we want to focus on? And some of those things I wanted to see what their input is because I wanted to see what they said and what they thought the core values were or what aligned with what they felt like was a part of our business. Now, core values is really just a list of maybe it could be three to five, six. I mean, you could honestly have as many as you want, but I want them to be things that you can remember, things that you can think. The concept behind core values is this is a list of things that really are your guiding influence in everything you do in your business. If you have to make a decision about how you respond to a client, does it fit within your core values? Is there one of the core values that is inflicted by the decision you make? And if it is, then you should really consider and think about those core values. But consider what core values can do for you in making decisions in your business. You know, gear acquisition, buying a camera, uh, or buying a new computer, or um, buying a building, any of those things, what you wanna do is you wanna consider, does it fit within my core values? Does it fit with the, with the person that I wanna be in business? Um, it really gets down to even how you talk behind people's backs or the things you discuss um, outside of, of business about other businesses or the things, how you judge another business. You know, I look at it when I, when I go into another business and, and honestly, other businesses have a huge impact on how I run my business. In fact, the way I run my business is very much so, um, considered or, uh, 
I guess, a translation of things I've learned from two other business owners who, one, I don't even know, uh, but two, uh, the second one, I do know, and I love the way that they run their business. And so uh, I like to make sure that my core values kind of align with the things that I've experienced in being a customer of that business and how I want my customers to feel. Now, I'm gonna talk today about core values. I'm gonna tell you, um, I'm gonna share with you my core values or the core values for Seven Figure Photographer. Now, you'll find, um, and I'm not gonna share Samuel Marvin Photography core values, but you'll find that they all really align pretty closely. Uh, they're, they're very similar. One of the biggest ones and the biggest difference uh, as we were sitting there talking uh, core values when it comes to um, like things that you decide that you want to put on social media. Uh, as long as you choose your fab five or your five things that you constantly run through social media align with your core values, then I think you're doing a really good job. But let's jump into it and I'm going to share with you our core values and why those are our core values for seven figure photographer. Number one is growth. And this is such a huge thing for me. Um, I've seen it as both a positive and a negative in my life. Growth is something that is so important to me. And I can't say that it has always been that way in my life. I've, you know, I never gave a two craps about, <laughs> that's a terrible thing to say. I never gave any care to, uh, education as a young kid. I, school just really kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't want to have anything to do with it, but it honestly didn't feel like it was driving me in the direction that I wanted to go. It was just, it was uh, conforming to the ways that the world wanted me to be. And that, if you know me, does not necessarily work. I always have a tendency to go, you know, the way that traffic is not supposed to go. That's, I, I was trying to carefully put how that's, <laughs> that's to be said because it could be taken the wrong way by some. Anyway. Uh, so growth is important to me. Reading books, learning and educating myself. I Every year I set a budget for Samuel Marvin Photography uh, to the tune of somewhere between ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 just for education because growth I think is so important. But growth in the terms of seven-figure photographer, growth is my goal because my goal is to help others grow. But I don't want to just help others grow. I want to grow myself. The purpose of the Seven Figure Photographer is to share my journey with you guys. And my journey is to grow and to better myself. Reading books. I read books like they're going out of style. In fact, as you can see, one of the most important things I have on the set here is my bookshelf. And it's got a bunch of my favorite business books and the things that they, they teach me. For me, I can sit down and listen to any talk by any person. I could sit down and just have a chat with any person. In fact, if you go to our website, you can book a 30 minute free time just to sit and do a Zoom call with me or sit down for coffee because I believe I can learn something from you. And I go into it with the expectation to learn and to grow as much as I hope to help you grow and to be inspired. So number one is growth. The reason I say that it can be a negative and a positive because I, I've i seen this a lot in not only my life but some other people's lives around me is that sometimes when we focus so much on growth, we outgrow other people. And that can create some challenge in our life because what happens, and I see this with me and my wife a lot, um, and she, you know, it's one of her biggest fears is she says, I just hope you don't ever outgrow me or grow out of wanting to be with me. And I can understand how that could be a, a concern. And I can understand how it is a concern for me because I oftentimes find myself feeling like I'm constantly trying to grow and trying to change, but I don't feel like necessarily that's always something that she's trying to do. And I might just see it a little bit differently because I know that she is trying to grow, but she will point out things that I do wrong. And I always make it a huge um, point in my life to grow from the experience and to learn. One thing that my dad taught me when I was a kid, and you'll never hear me talk much about my dad, though he's a big part of my life. Uh, he's been a huge, huge driving factor or inspiration in my photography business um, or my photography skill, should I say. But one thing he told me when I was a kid is he said, son, I want you to understand anytime somebody says something bad about you, or says anything to you or about you, instead of fighting it, sit and listen to what they have to say and question yourself, is it anything that really could 
be something you could change for the better in yourself. And I think that that was such a powerful lesson that he taught me because it really is. We oftentimes focus on people attacking us rather than thinking, okay, what could I do differently? So number one is growth. And that really is um, a big portion of the seven figure photographer. Now, number two uh, for core values is authenticity. I am a little off, call, off color. I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. I say things that are thoroughly inappropriate a lot of times. I, I have a tendency, honestly, just to care more about making people laugh or watching their jaw drop than I do about the reaction or the responsibility I might have to take for saying said things. So oftentimes I say some things that are off color. And honestly, since I was young, since I was about 20 years, eh, honestly, probably even since I was about 15 years old, I've taken the approach that if people get to know the worst of me and they stick around, then they, get, they deserve to know the best of me. And so I oftentimes will lead with the worst. It's like backing your bumper up to the, through the drive-thru. It's a little bit bass backwards to tell you honestly, but... I, the way I see it is I'm authentic and I want to make sure that I'm authentic and I want to make sure that I'm true to who I am. I don't like to beat around the bush. I like to just hopefully tell it how it is, but I am really truly uh, concerned about people's feelings. And sometimes that will limit me a little bit, but ultimately I want to make sure that the people that I deal with align with being authentic and I wanna make sure that I am authentic with you. And that's why I really will share truly my feelings and share things with you guys that I'll never share with anybody, just because I wanna truly be authentic. And I think that that is one of those things that I'm gonna judge in my business is, is it authentic? I love watching um, the show Shark Tank. My wife actually, I, I never actually even turned it on myself, my wife, turned it on one night and for some reason it happens to be the thing that we watch on a regular basis. And I always sit there thinking of myself as one of the sharks. I'm sitting in my chair as I'm working at my computer and I listen to people make their pitch. And I think to myself, if I was one of the sharks and I was the one that had all the money to give, would I give money to this person and invest in their idea? And the biggest thing to me is when people stand up there, I judge their authenticity. And if they don't seem authentic to me, I'll point it out first and foremost. And I wouldn't give anybody a dollar if I didn't feel they were authentic because there's a lot of people that aren't authentic out there in the world and they'll beat around the bush. And so that's one of those things that I really am big about judging in my business, but I also want to make sure that I make decisions in my business based on whether or not I'm being authentic. If I buy something or I do something or I show something, um, Sometimes, you know, it could be uh, less than authentic and I don't want to be that person. Number three is financial health. And this is really kind of a, this is a crazy one for me because I've struggled with money all my life. Uh, finances have never been the easiest because I grew up kind of spoiled to be brutally honest. My mom just kind of gave me everything I wanted um, until I was, you know, well, let, let me back that up. She didn't just give me anything I wanted. She gave me anything that she wanted me to have that aligned with the things that I wanted to have. If it was anything that I wanted that she didn't think was good, for instance, um, being an entrepreneur, my mom wanted me to go to college and become a doctor or a uh, pharmacist. Those were the two things. If I would have gone to college for that, my mom would have given me every penny I ever wanted to do that, and she would have footed the bill the whole way to the bank. But because I chose to be a photographer and an entrepreneur, she told me I was going to fail. And she constantly told me I was going to fail. Until one day in 2007, I called her up and I said, Mom, I just booked you a ticket to New York City to go with me because I got hired to photograph a wedding over there. And I'm pretty sure that I could hear the sound of her chin hitting the desk when I told her this, but she was totally stoked. And honestly, it was until that moment when my mom, when we were in the subways of New York City at three o'clock in the morning, taking pictures and having fun with my team of seven people that went with us, that she realized that, wow, I think my son is really gonna make something of this in his life. And it was such an incredible moment for me, but financial health has always been a struggle, but it's always been the biggest 
goal on my list. It's been the number one thing on my list. And honestly, I don't mind struggling with financial health because to me, it is one of those things that I constantly am going to uh, focus on achieving and focus on bettering myself. One of the best books that you could read out there is uh, Profit First. In fact, this book right here, Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. This book was a life changer for me. I read it uh, probably three years ago, and I can honestly say that it changed my life, and it helped me in so many ways with financial health. But ultimately, the goal of Seven Figure Photographer is to help people to be able to make more money so that they can find a better balance with finances in their life and be able to understand the time versus money conundrum that's out there and hopefully find a better financial health. So that core value aligns with our business, The Seven Figure Photographer, because the goal is to help people find better financial success and better financial health. Number four is accountability. This one I love. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm the biggest like blame game person in the world like I dude growing up I could blame anything on anybody like I I could in fact my my dad <laughs> my dad one time I shot I was shooting birds out of my dad's bird feeder okay now his bird feeder had glass on it so you can imagine what's going to happen my dad would not buy me a, P, a BB gun because my older brothers that had BB guns shot out every window that they could shoot out so when I'm the seventh of seven children and I asked for a BB gun, my dad said, hell no. So somehow, I think I bought it with my own money, but somehow I ended up with a BB gun. I was the only kid at home that had a BB gun. And somehow the glass in my dad's bird feeder. Now, if you know my dad, there's nothing more important to him in the world than his garden and his birds. And yes, he claims those birds because if they land on his property, they're his birds. I might have missed a bird and hit the glass, okay? I'll, I'll admit it now. Hopefully my dad never watches this because let me tell you, I blamed that on everybody else <laughs> under the sun and I convinced him, well, I think in my mind I convinced him that it was somebody else that had a BB gun that shot out the window in his bird feeder. But over time I've learned that being accountable is something that only I can do. I'm the only person that I can change. I'm the only person that can determine the outcome of any situation by focusing on myself. So being accountable, and honestly, you guys will hear me talk about this more, be the reason. I don't want to hear excuses. I don't have time for excuses. Excuses are bullshit. That's what they are. They're just bullshit. I want to be accountable for my actions, and I want to figure out a reason why or how I can be the reason for everything in my life because when I can be the reason, I can be the one accountable to make the change. And so being accountable or making people accountable for their actions only helps them grow and it helps with that number one principle or number one core value of growth. So accountability is huge to me and that's one of the things that I added into our core values for how we determine the way we do business. Now, number five is inspiration. Inspiration is huge. There's nothing I want to do more than to help inspire people because there's, if you've ever had the time where you're sitting listening to somebody or you see something and you just feel inspired, that feeling of just fire inside you is the best feeling in the world. Knowing that you have some sort of excitement or some sort of inspiration or some sort of aha moment. Being able to inspire people means more to me than anything out there. And so inspiration is one of those things that I will forever question when I do anything in my business, will it inspire people? And I can only hope for that. Um, everybody's going to be different. Everybody's going to see things differently. Everybody's going to hear things differently. But my goal and everything I do in my business is with the intention of inspiring others or hopefully being inspired myself. And so that's you know probably one of the biggest aspects or one of the biggest core values that we have. But if you take all five of those core values 
that we have, and you really look at them as a whole, they are a great outline for success. And if we consider everything we do in business by the core values, or for me, if we consider everything we do for Seven Figure Photographer with those core values in mind, we have basically, we're paving the road to success with those those concepts or those core values. I, I was trying to think of something exciting, but I, I didn't, I didn't do it right. <laughs> but anyway, you can see what I'm talking about and kind of the concept for what we're trying to do with our core values. We're using them to outline every decision we make in the business, every video we make, every class we develop, every talk we have, every communication will hopefully fit within those five core values. So my question for you is, what are your core values? Please make sure to comment below. Tell us what your core values are. Tell us where you're at. Maybe it's one core value, maybe it's two, maybe it's five, maybe it's 12. I just would love to see what your core values are and how they've helped you in your business. Or if you don't have any core values, I'd love to see that that's something that you commit to working on because I'm gonna hold you accountable just like we were talking about earlier. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Catch us on the flip side. We'll see you again soon.